Ah, ja, super excited and overwhelmed. Had so many dreams in the past few nights. I'm so excited to meet baby lambies. Yeah, I cannot believe it has been nine months already. Over nine months. Every day now is just waiting, and we have started with the not the active like the Braxton contraction, and now becoming a little bit more real. By the time this show up online, I'm going to be in labor and in the delivery room. Of course, I'm not right now in active labor. Like I've said, I'm only now experiencing the Braxton. Or maybe I am in active labor. Let's see. Let's see how. Let's see how much longer we're going to hold on to the. Okay. So yeah, when I'm filming this, I'm not in active labor. That's it's my intuition is saying this is not yet active. It's just the pre-labor situation. Couple, a little bit more than usual, Braxton contractions. And then, yeah, by the time it show up online, I should be in labor actively by an in the delivery room. I thought I should film this well in advance because I think once things start getting serious I would not want to have a camera anywhere nearby to film this then to edit to upload it so I was just thinking it's better if I do it now while I'm still feeling capable upload it and then the next thing I'm going to upload is going to be then the, the bed full of later on with um with time depending on how the the healing process goes I have to take this long. I'm also hoping when I'm recording this I'm hoping that future me is also going to look back after delivery and say okay what were you thinking how did it go did you go as expected as you expected because I Beautiful nine months with a very nice no morning sickness and I think really everything went smoothly this the last few weeks of waiting are a little bit hectic I'm super exhausted I, I legs are starting to swell regardless of how often I'm in a certain position or taking walks and stretching whatsoever but I'm, I'm excited and Ali is also super excited. We can't wait to meet the baby. And I don't know how this is going to go. This is also why I thought I should film this a little bit in advance because I just going to be a mother for the first time. First time experiencing labor and giving birth to a human being. Mm, giving birth. So I don't know how it's going to go. I uh, a lot of expectation. I just have no. I'm not sure what I expect. What I'm going to go through. I've also talked to my gynecologist about it, and it's just like every process, especially when it comes to natural birth, is very different, and each woman is going to go through just like a unique process. It's like a unique process for you and your baby. Nobody can really kind of predict how your process is going to be like so I'm hoping it's going to be one of those labor wages few contractions and you got a baby yeah I don't know <laughs> I have watched several videos I haven't I've seen one that was yes I've seen one that was quite fast with the lady so she was super fast by the whole time she got to the hospital and she was almost Eight centimeters dilated and poop that was in pain, but the nurses were like, Okay, you know, most women are jealousy about this kind of situation because for you, everything is very, very fast. But yeah, maybe I'm going to have one of those. Otherwise, what I've heard from all my friends who 
couple of my friends who gave birth also. Not so long ago, they went through at least 12 to 16, um, 16 hours of active labor. So yeah, that's what it is. And what else? Besides the excitement, I've just been trying to prepare myself mentally. I think I'm, I'm at this stage, I'm just more, I'm going to try to be just more focused on meeting the baby than on the pain. I went through everything, all consultation by myself. We did the hospital, when we went to visit the hospital where, the, where I'm going to deliver, or where I'm going to give birth and be admitted. Initially, when I called the said, yes, I'll let me come. We went there together, then was not allowed to just wait outside. So I'm hoping that he's going to to come and stay with, with me, at least during that process. But a friend of mine gave birth about three weeks ago and said the husband almost missed the whole thing because was not allowed to be there during the labor process, was only called really the very last minute when the baby was already almost there. And he was still at home sleeping. <laughs> I think he was already dressing, saying he just needed to jump in the car and get there, but can you imagine? I wouldn't want Ali to miss this experience. I would not want, it would be nice, especially because he said he really wanted to be there. I wasn't sure at the beginning and I took some thought and we spoke about it. I want to be there and support you. Now I'm hoping he's going to be there and she, give me some support or at least just be allowed to be allowed to be there to 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 just experience this stage and this uh, experience with me and the baby of course. Um I really thought the baby was going to be here on Alice's birthday because I'm a first time mother. I was just doing some weird calculations based on how how fast the time is growing, the movements and from other people's experience who say, No, my baby came thirty days before the the scheduled date. Oh my daddy my baby came really way twenty days before, so I was like I'm sure by Al, by the time we celebrate Alice's birthday we're going to <laughs> To have the baby already now, now it's a month over that. No, it's not a month, I'm exaggerating. It's about two weeks after Alice's birthday, and I'm hoping that the next, I would say, probably two or three days, we're going to have a baby here. I don't necessarily think we're going to have a baby on the day that the doctor has scheduled. So I'm hoping that we're going to get the baby sooner. Otherwise, here it comes. On the day that the daughter just suggested it would be nice, but that is like what I've read is like one in I don't know in a million chance that your baby will come exactly the same day the doctor said was going to be born. So far everything is fine, weight is fine, initially initially a little worried. But now we have a full grown baby. Adults. What I want to say to the future me, like that's going to be a mother, is I'm probably going to come back to this video and say, what were you thinking? That's not how. Hmm. I'm curious. Can we just say, if I have to say, once labor start, let me be brave, strong, breathe in, breathe out, relax, try all the how I'm going to, to remember all the breathing position, or at least some of the breathing position that my midwife uh, gave me to practice and just focus on the like every contraction, no matter how painful it is, is going to be bring you closer to your baby. My midwife actually said to me, <coughs> labor pain is the most painful thing. Oh, like it's really like the top, the top of the range of all painful stuff that you can do. And that's the highest thing that a woman can go through when it comes to pain. 
but you also said that's also why contractions comes with breaks you have a moment where you breathe you have to take a break and then you have to take uh to prepare for another contraction again and scream or cry or whatever but she said in most cases women are so afraid they cannot and the fear prevent them from even noticing this break so he said the more relaxed the person is the easier the birth process because then you notice the breaks and then you really use them to breathe and maybe to stop pushing when you are told to and he says it's many Mental, it's painful, but it's also mental. Like you have to be in a good mental state, strength, and just focus that in a short while you're going to meet your baby. Like human being that has been growing in your stomach, in your uterus for the past nine months is going to finally enter this world and be part of your family. So, back will are coming up very soon, and yeah, I'm excited, I'm overwhelmed. Maybe in our next video, hopefully by the next video I can introduce you to the baby, and it's going to be a brand new channel. Ciao, ciao, ciao.